New tonight, sewer lines are leaking in Sturgis, leaving wastewater to sit on some pieces of private property. Eyewitness News Ben Walls reports on these concerns and the mayor's response. Take a look at the wastewater coming out of this manhole just past the city's floodgate. And resident Ronnie Harper says this issue's only been going on for a couple weeks. But over the last two months, wastewater is coming out of some of the city's sewer lines and flowing through his property just a half a mile down the road. Well, it smelled bad. And, uh, you know, I'm a fisherman and everything, and I don't want to see this kind of water going into the river. Harper says city crews have come to repair the pipes twice before, but wastewater continues to flood his property. It's been two weeks since he has heard any word from the city. Meanwhile, he and his neighbors say the water smell at night is enough to make them gag, and the smell lingers while driving into town. But this is one of three leaks between here and in the flood wall at Sturgis. Though this water has continued to ebb and flow for weeks in Harper's yard, Mayor Billy Adams says turning the sewer system off wasn't an option. He says the city is aware of the issue and is working for a solution to replace four air release valves spread throughout city limits. The city has contacted the state, the health department, and the contractor EWM in Morganfield to replace the valves. Though we're told the wastewater plant superintendent talked with EWM on Friday, a date to replace them hasn't been made. Mayor Adams says that day, however, will come sooner rather than later. We've done everything that we're supposed to do. Is it an inconvenience? Is it possibly a smell? Yes, it is. I understand, and I can understand the aggravation with it. They'll have to dig it up and patch it like they did the other two times. In Sturgis, Ben Walls, Eyewitness News.